Hi, I'm Ted Scheffler, Dining Editor for the Salt Lake City Weekly, and I'm here at the Bayleaf Cafe with owner Halen Latore right now. She's co-owner with your partner, Seth, right? Yes. Yes. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the Bailey Cafe? I've, I've come to really love this place. I've had a lot of lunches here, and I really like the vibe and the food. Just, can you talk a little bit about what you're what you're doing here? Um, we'd like to bring something a little different to Salt Lake City. Um, we wanted to do a traditional comfort food, things that we grew up with, things that made us feel at home. Um, we, what we like to call poor people's food. You know, you don't really need to spend thirty bucks to have a good meal. You're, I think I think Seth called it. Trash cooking? Is that what he well, likes to call a, it? We have a, a dish called a trash plate, which is ah. basically everything breakfast into one plate. Oh, I remember what it was. Not trash cooking, but scratch cooking. Everything's yeah, kind of from scratch, scratch homemade, yeah, right. homemade type comfort food. Right. Now, can you talk a little bit about, at first I thought this was really weird. There's like southern cuisine, sort of from Alabama on the menu, po' boys and catfish and stuff like that. And then you've got some Filipino dishes like chicken adobo and spring rolls and things. Can you explain that to me a little? Well, again, it comes from our childhood. Seth's from, from the South. I'm from the Philippines um, originally. I uh, grew up uh, a little bit in the South and in New York, so I knew all the, you know, that's from what I eat, and what my family served, and that's what he had as well. Oh, I get it. So you sort of get the best of both worlds. Right. Well, East meets South or something like that. Kind of, Asia yeah. meets uh, <laughs> Alabama, I guess. Right. Um, one of the, some of the, Seth was telling me that some of the dishes come from like your grandmothers and great grandmothers. I think he said the meatloaf is from his great great grandmother. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. Is that sort of where you got your recipes? Um, the, the meatloaf actually came from um, his his mother sent us a handwritten recipe book from his great great grandmother that's been passed down from for every generation. Uh, and a lot of a couple of our dishes came from that book. And then a few things, is things that I've cooked since I was little. Okay. Well, I can vouch for the meatloaf. The meatloaf is awesome. Get it with a side of Hoppin' John, some mac and cheese, or some cheese grits. That's the Bayleaf Cafe right down here on Main Street.